So Kumu Networks is a startup out of Stanford University, uh, funded by uh, NEA, Coastal Ventures, and Third Point. And uh, we've developed full duplex radios. So we've broken one of the fundamental assumptions in wireless, which is that radios cannot transmit and receive in the same channel at the same time. And that's an assumption that has essentially been the foundation of wireless since Marconi first invented the radio 150 years ago. And what we've done is essentially invalidated that assumption by building self-interference cancellation technologies that enable a radio to transmit and receive in the same channel at the same time. Today, radios don't transmit and receive simultaneously because when a radio transmits, it causes significant self-interference to its own receiver. It's like shouting at the top of your lungs while trying to hear a whisper from miles away. What we've developed is essentially noise-canceling headsets for radios. Effectively, what we've done is connected the radio's mouth to its ears, enabling it to shout as loud as it wants and hear silence, enabling it, the other radio at the other side to simultaneously transmit to it in the same channel. Now, that's a big deal because what that does is it doubles spectral efficiency. Not just peak spectral efficiency, but average. If you look at LTE, if you look at LTE and the progression of the last seven to ten years, we've only managed to double spectral efficiency and it's tapering off because spectral efficiency is fundamentally hitting Shannon limits, which means that there aren't that many link layer capacity and coding techniques to increase that capacity anymore. Full duplex fundamentally changes that game and it doubles spectral efficiency, not peak, but average as well. And that's fundamentally going to change wireless. Now what you see behind me right here is essentially the world's first full duplex demonstration in hardware live. Um, what you see here is essentially two nodes which are operating LTE full duplex and each of the nodes is essentially transmitting and receiving in the same channel at the same time. So the first plot that you see here is essentially the power spectral density and the red signal here is the transmitted signal from this node to that one. That node is simultaneously transmitting back to this node and the received signal is right here. Now you see that the transmit signal is so much stronger than the received signal that without our technology this wouldn't be feasible. But with it, what we're able to do is essentially double the throughput that you can achieve on a single link. Now this technology is applicable to many, many markets and many different technologies. This technology essentially applies to any radio because what we're doing is fundamentally changing the duplexing method that any radio, whether it's LTE, Wi-Fi, backhaul, any radio can achieve. And so this technology is very, very horizontal and applies to pretty much anything with a radio in it. Can you go into details of different applications? Oh, sure, not a problem. So with, uh, with microwave backhaul, it's fairly self-explanatory, right? With microwave backhaul, essentially what you have is two nodes which are transmitting and receiving on two different channels, but because they're proprietary in nature, this technology allows them to transmit and receive on the same channel at the same time. In Wi-Fi, for example, again, all these applications require no modifications to the standards, but in Wi-Fi, the scenario that you have is essentially multiple access points, and when you try to bring them very close together, what happens is they make a lot of noise to each other, even if they're transmitting on different bands. This technology essentially allows you to transmit and receive with a multiple high density, high capacity Wi-Fi, and it enables them to all essentially operate simultaneously, eliminating the noise between them. Now, in mobile devices, again, the technology doesn't have to go into 5G standards for this to make an impact immediately. In mobile phones, the problem today is LTE spectrum fragmentation. Essentially, there are so many different bands that LTE is operating on that you need different filters in order to be able to handle each of the bands transmitting and receiving on different channels. This technology, self-interference cancellation, effectively eliminates the need for fixed static hardware filters and allows any radio to essentially transmit and receive in a software configured fashion on different networks, enabling you to build a true global roaming world phone. Now lastly, this technology also simplifies dramatically the rollout of heterogeneous small cell networks because what it allows you to do is to actually build a small cell that can backhaul itself in the same channel. Now in that example, essentially what we have is a small cell that works with traditional FDD users, so the users don't need to change, but it has a built-in LTE modem that acts as the backhaul to the macro. Now that configuration essentially enables you to utilize LTE as the backhaul 
which is free because the UE modems are so cheap. And it allows you to essentially operate that in LTE frequencies, which are much lower in terms of propagation, and get true non-line of sight LTE. Not only that, it allows you to leverage the infrastructure that already exists because the macros are able to aggregate all of the data. And we've shown and begun to work with many operators to show that this solution is on par in terms of the capacity that you can achieve with something like fiber or out-of-band microwave. So those are the short-term applications of Kumu Network's self-interference cancellation technology. But the technology is much more broad than what I've just mentioned. The technology applies to not only radios, but any essentially wireless device, including radars, optics, even cable modems. And the technology is essentially going to be one of the main drivers of 5G standards in the future. So in general, full duplex, you've seen it here today, is a reality. Full duplex technology is going to impact the wireless future significantly 5G and beyond.